Yeah, the hardest thing about bagging them up is when you only have two hands. You could use an extra one, but there aren't any to be had. Sometimes you gotta use two hands in a fight in that situation. <laughs> Seriously? stitch these corners shut so there's not otherwise they just sit there the whole time in transit. Today is, today is... My birthday! <laughs> no, it's not his birthday, don't listen to this guy. It's actually Hillary and I's anniversary today, and to celebrate... Congratulations! Thanks! <laughs> to, to celebrate, we're getting, uh, we're getting Garrett and the snakes out of our house. <laughs> <laughs> and, but we're gonna, we're gonna pack up these big snakes. You're gonna see how easy or not it is. <clears throat> we'll show you the beauty of the finished box, and then Hillary and I are gonna talk about her anxiety. Sounds like the perfect anniversary to me. Yeah, I don't care if you don't care about your hands, but I do. Twenty-eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that good. That's not that good. Right, that includes a lot of other stuff. Oh, I lose the snake rodeo. Man, we had her that first time. It's nice and easy. She wasn't even awake yet. Someone let her out of the back, and then the back started to hurt. <laughs> all in all, not too bad. Yeah, except for the part where I uh, messed up and didn't. Look accommodate for how wide the bag was we got her in without very many issues and then it started to become issues which is probably more entertaining for you guys so you're welcome you're welcome all right let's go see how much she weighs any guesses comment below how much does the big pie weigh 75 pounds people are guessing 120 at the party which is funny, because it uh, wasn't a bad guess, you know? It's really hard when you have like, you know, six or eight feet of that in front of you, throwing you around. But yeah, 75 pounds actually on the smaller side for mainland females, you know? Where they can easily get over 100, sometimes over 200 pounds.
I estimated these boxes to be at 100 pounds loaded weight and did not calculate for the box weight. <laughs> oh, I was wondering what kind of math you were doing back there when you were doing that. The box is 45 pounds. I got 142 and 149. So, pretty dang good. All right, folks. <clears throat> Flipping, flapping. All right, folks. Garrett's on his way, and uh, you can say goodbye to all the educational content that we've been having these past few days. <laughs> it's, uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it. Took me a second. I haven't had my coffee. Bye. Love you too. Garrett's gone, the keg's loaded in the vehicle, Hillary's gone to work, it's just me and the kids. Carpet Fest is officially over. <sighs> we bye bye. Noah is about to go off to the water park, so it's just gonna be, we're, we're, the house population is declining rapidly. Hey Noah! Hey Noah! What do you know? I know. Diamonds. Diamonds? Yeah. What about diamonds? That they're the hardest no mineral on earth. And if you ran over it with your car's tire, it would pop the tire if it was polished and cut like pictures of diamonds and books you would usually see. And there are different kinds. The only ones I know are blue diamonds, white diamonds. White diamonds are clear when you polish them. Yellow diamonds and brown diamonds. And once you polish them, they're all shiny. And they're and they're gems. Gems mean that it's that it's super valuable, just like a diamond, because they're so valuable. That's all I know. Hey T, what do you know? <laughs> hey Screamy guy, come here. What do you know? I know. Godzilla. <laughs> what about Godzilla? I mean geckos. Oh, what about geckos? That they have, that they eat bugs and they have scratch and they have claws to scratch and they have teeth and they have a tail and they have eggs and that's all I know. <laughs> that guy's silly tea. Um, you'll play. Hey! Hey! That's hey! Come on, you. come on guys. Let's get it together over there. Where's my smooch? No smooch for daddy today? Oh man. Some of you may wonder, what kind of husband lets his wife go to work well, no, hold on, hold on. We all know Hillary's gonna go to work no matter what I say. Um, also, I recommend to her that talking about her, her anxiety that she's dealt with recently might be something that could be beneficial and possibly help. And then she agreed, so uh, it's not like we got options to go anywhere anyway, so I'm gonna make sure she has some nice... Guys, can we calm down over there just for a moment while I talk? Just for a moment. I'm gonna make sure she has a nice dinner to come home to, and then we're gonna sit down and talk about it. Because it's its own whole subject, and it doesn't really, I mean, I know I said that today that we we're gonna talk about it on the vlog, but it's like, it's long, it's long. I, you never, I don't know how long 
we're going to talk about it for and i wasn't going to set any kind of time okay it's been it's been 10 minutes can we stop we got to stop now to keep in with it so i'm just going to make it its own video if you're somebody who's dealt with anxiety before or know somebody who has this video will probably help you or maybe it'll just something you can relate to what i'm really hoping to get from it is people to share their own experiences with anxiety because i have never had anxiety not in the sense of not the actual you know what is diagnosed as anxiety i mean i've been anxious about shows and whatnot but i can't relate to it so i thought it would really help if hillary put it out there for other people to to kind of see what she's been going through and be able to relate to it and, and leave comments down below to share your own experiences that people that have had to deal with stuff like that and like how either what helped you or the light at the end of the tunnel when you made it out of it or maybe you're still dealing with it and you can also get benefits from seeing other people that have dealt with it and anyway that's that was the whole point of it other than that uh tomorrow i'm going to build an enclosure for the little box turtle that terry brought a little outdoor enclosure so Hopefully I have enough time to do that and film it before we take off to go see my parents who have been in Belgium for the past three months. Maybe you guys can, I, I've never built an outdoor turtle enclosure ever or any kind of outdoor enclosure for that matter. So I uh, thought that'd be something you guys like to see. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. Thank you for your support and aloha. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to assist feed her and like right now.